Have you ever had that one or two or even unlimited amount of rude customers who just deliberately try to ruin your life on the job? I know I have. I mean, heck, rude people are just unavoidable in life, period. I remember back in college, I worked part-time at two different places. One was at a gas station where I worked as a cashier, and the other was at a Japanese restaurant where I worked as a waiter. Now, working part-time jobs wasn't something I wanted to do forever, but at the time, I was a broke college kid trying to pay for his tuition. It's not like I had much of a choice. As much as it pained me to watch most of my friends go to college and easily get the nicest dorms and clothes and cars because they all had a little friend named Daddy's Wallet, I was perfectly fine working a couple of part-time jobs just to get me through school. I mean, I technically been working part-time jobs since I was in 7th grade when my mom got me a job at her friend's sushi restaurant where I worked as a dishwasher, but then eventually worked my way up to waiter. Although I did end up quitting that job because my mom thought it would be a good idea for me to not only work there, but also get private math tutoring from the boss every day an hour before my shift. And with him being an ex-army veteran, let's just say I didn't end up learning that much. What is the square root of 7 billion and 23? 25? WRONG! YOU ARE WORTHLESS! DROP AND GIVE ME 20! Anyways, that was pretty much how I made all my money in middle school and early high school, but it was college when I really had to start dealing with some super rude people who I swear to everything holy had a vendetta against me. I seriously must have ran over their cat in another life or eaten their pop-tarts because some of these people were just straight out for blood. Alright, there's your change. Have a nice day. What did you just say to me? I said have a nice day. You just did it again! Don't you know this is a free country? Don't tell me what to do! Who do you think you are? Uh... I'm... Terry. There's, uh... There's my name tag. Well, Terry, you just earned yourself a complaint! Let me speak to your manager. Sure thing! What can I do for you, sir? You're not the manager! I'm the acting manager when no one else is around. Well, when do they get back in? They're gone for the day, so not until tomorrow morning. Would you like me to provide you with a corporate number that you can call? But just a heads up, I've called them before to ask how to perform a cleanup on aisle 2 and trust me, you might be on hold for a while. <coughs> Hope knocker. I honestly don't know what I did to deserve some of the harassment I received on the job, but to be fair, I think some of the people I dealt with were just having a bad day and needed someone to take it out on. But that doesn't mean you or anyone deserves to be treated unfairly. If I could tell that a customer was more or less having a bad day, I'd try my best to defuse the situation. Which of course was standard procedure for the job. No, I'm serious, we even had a rule written on the counter that said we had to smile when we spoke to customers on the phone because it helped make us sound more friendly. Hello, thanks for calling Gotgo. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you today? By the way, did I tell you guys I'm getting new merch? That's right, new. It's been forever since I updated my merch store, so I think it's best to just do a complete revamp. Meaning, all if not most of the items that you see here are for the most part probably going away. So if you guys want to get any of the old school merch before it's all completely gone, then feel free to check out the first link in the description. But back to rude customers and diffusing tense situations. I don't care if she's your cousin. You don't take your cousin to the beach in a speedo. Oh, is that right? I don't care if it was a one piece instead of a bikini! You still wore a speedo! Welcome to Gotgo, Miss Mars. How may I help? Just a minute, Marty. I'll deal with you later. Just my usual chocolate bar, Terry. And make it snappy. That'll be $1.25. Oh, for the love of her, she wears my wallet. I must have left it at home. This day just keeps getting worse. I just wanted my chocolate bar, my precious chocolate. In times like these, you can clearly see the customer is having a bad day. And rather than making it worse by denying her her precious chocolate, how about you just take the candy bar today and pay for it tomorrow? I know you're a regular. What? Really? You do that for me? Of course. It's the least I could do for a loyal customer. Well, shucks. I don't know what to say. You just made my terrible day much better. Not a problem. Happy to help. Well, see you tomorrow then. Now where was I? I still can't believe you wore a spade out of the beach with your cousin. What is wrong with you, Marty? Now, of course, not all the problems took place at the counter. Some of them happened out at the pumps. Excuse me, sir. It's actually a fire hazard to be smoking at a gas station. I'm gonna have to ask you to put that out. What? This? Kid? 
Do you really think I'm dumb enough to drop this here cigarette into my gas tank? Well, probably not, but even the fumes from the gasoline flowing into your gas tank right now are capable of igniting just from being near that cigarette. And on top of that, if a single bit of ash that still has a bit of flame to it were to fall on the ground anywhere near these gas puddles, that could also lead the entire place to going up. So please, if you would- Listen, kid, I'm almost done, alright? I ain't wasting my smoke on account of you trying to be employee of the month at a gas station. Why don't you go mop the bathroom? floor or something and actually be useful. Alrighty then. Hey, I never said it was easy, but rude customers is something everyone has to deal with in their own ways. Let me know how you guys deal with them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, I do have a Twitter and an Instagram account. And they're both at TerrySongTV. You should definitely follow me there. And until next time, we will see you guys in the next video. Good night.